morning, good morning, good morning. Walk with me. How is everyone doing? So I am behind the scene. I am in the gym, the school gym. Um, we just got done with one session, just trying to get ourselves together for PE, waiting for the kids to come in so that we can get our activities started for the day. But I thought of dropping this right quick. Who do you surround yourself with? Who are the people in your circle? The people you surround yourself with will either break you or encourage you. They will either lift you or further push you down. So this year, you're going to be very, very intentional. I see some people say, oh, we've been childhood friends. See, you didn't come into this world with anyone. We've been childhood friends. We've been friends since we were in kindergarten. We've been friends since we were in high school. We are inseparable. We've been together. Every bond that comes into your life is for a season. There are some who come just to come fulfill a purpose in your life and go. And there are some who will be there for a long term because of the purpose for which they are in your life. So don't hold on to anybody because when that is when you try, that is when you end up hurting yourself. For those who are supposed to come into your life in for a season, fulfill the purpose for which they are in your life and move away. And then you try to hold them. You try to hold on to them, even when you know that it is obvious that their time is up in your life. And so you hold, and they are not necessarily bad people. That you're letting someone go does not necessarily mean that they are bad people. It's just that their tenure, their tenure in your life is gone and so you begin to hold on to these people and you discover that the next phase of your life these same people who were there for you who were with you who were your bosom friend who were the next phase of your life they may not be able to handle it and because they are not able to handle it two people begin to have conflict who are those in your life again are they there are they people that can confidently lift your hands up? Are there people that can confidently stand in the gap for you? Are there people that, are, that, 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 that got your back? Through thick and thin. Or they are like feathers. Or they are like leaves on the tree. As soon as the wind shakes them, they take off and they leave you. Are they rooted enough? Do they have your interest at heart? There are friends that once you start once you start climbing, you will just see envy setting. And at that point, if you don't let them go, there are those who are just in your life. And, you know, once you share vision with them, you just see them just because they are going nowhere. You just see them just discouraging you, bringing you down, putting you down, discouraging you from even making that move. Who are those in your circle? Are you going to be intentional this year? Take a look at your circle. There are friends that are in the forefront that should be at the back. Not necessarily that they have to live your life, but the position they occupy in your life is not doing you any good. There are friends who should be in front, they are at the back. Sit down and reshuffle your friends. Sit down and reshuffle your circle and place them at every position. Place them at their proper place. I don't see, friends don't take me on our ways. Friends don't even disappoint me. Why? Because I don't expect so much from them, number one. Number two, I have studied my circle and I have studied my friends and I know where to place them better. And so we don't get to have problems. I know friends that, that are just right in front. I know friends that are just right behind me. I know those who are very far, far back. Who are those in your circle? Of what benefit are they to you? Are they constituting nuisance? Are they, are they time wasters? Are they discouragers? Are they, are they there just to steal ideas from you? Or they are there to lift your hand up? They are there to stand in the gap for you? They are there to stand with you? They are there to encourage you? They are there to pray with you? They are there to tell you, no, you know what? We are rooting for you. Just keep going. Who are those in your circle? That is the question today. Let me know what you think. I love you. There is nothing you can do about it. And I am going to go ahead and just do what I got to do. I have some things that I want to cut here. We have some games coming up. We just want to cut more of those and, um, you know, so that the kids can have fun. And um, 
yeah 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 i love you guys and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it take care Mwah. bye if you're not part of this family yet please 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 i see a lot of people watch my video but they don't subscribe whatever is stopping you from subscribing i come against that thing in jesus name because i need you permanently in this community we have so much to share together love you guys be safe out there bye Every day. Testimony. Everywhere. Testimony. See the word is working and i'm so full of praise and in the